a reading for Jacqueline Larson Carmichael for her new book, Heard Amid the Guns, True Stories from the Western Front, 1914 to 1918, read by John Dennison, co-founder of the World Rugby Memorial. Lieutenant Eric Puss McLeod Milroy. When he played rugby, his mother used to tell him to stay unhurt, to play well back, in hopes that he wouldn't get injured. An accountant with a master's degree and a Scottish international rugby player who fought with the Black Watch Regiment in World War I. In his last letter home, he wrote to his mother, We are in some slight trouble tomorrow, so I'm just warning you, there is no keeping well back. Five days later, he was killed at Delville Wood on July the 18th, 1916, and is remembered on the Tietval Memorial to the Missing, along with over 72,000 others lost in the First Battle of the Somme. In maternal denial, his mother, Margaret Walteria Milroy, never believed her son was dead. She left a light on in his room, hoping he had come home and find his way up the path. No soldier's parent could blame her for such magical thinking. The World Rugby Memorial was dedicated on September the 16th, 2017, in the heart of the Chemin de Dan battlefields in the N Department, North East France. Here we remember all rugby players from around the world who have given their lives in war. It is the one place in the world where members of the worldwide rugby family can come together to reflect upon the sacrifices made for their future. This piece of ground belongs to the game of rugby. I'm an ex-player and match official and I organise commemorative and sporting events and memorials. The World Rugby Memorial Project was launched in October 2015 and was designed by the former French rugby captain Jean-Pierre Reeve. At the ceremony of dedication, we hosted military and youth teams along with special guests from around the world. Rugby is noted for its heroes and Eric Milroy was one such man who was a born leader and always at the centre of the action. Milroy, like many rugby players of his time, came through private education and when enlisted was made an officer. There are many examples of these men who were killed in World War I, with them leading from the front. We remember them all.